right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about chemical reactions. And before we do that, we need to review physical changes and chemical changes. When you see chemical changes, it's talking about a chemical reaction. So you will be forming new substances. And uh, there are signs of a chemical reaction. We'll look at that in a minute. But you might want to make note of this in your notebook. Physical changes just means you're not making anything new. You're just changing what something looks like. For example, you're cutting your hair or you're tearing your paper or you are crushing a can. So all of those are physical changes. Keep in mind that as changes in states of matter, such as uh, melting, evaporating, and freezing are also physical changes because you can unfreeze your ice cube and get water back. You can let your ice evaporate and go into the air and eventually it'll rain and you'll get that water back as well. All right, so let's look at signs of a chemical reaction before we actually kind of do them. Here are the signs. We're looking for changes in temperature, uh, an increase or a decrease when we mix two things together. So um, that's one without adding any uh, additional changes. We're looking for extreme changes in odor. Now this one we're not going to do today, even though I could. We've got some real sour milk in the refrigerator. Don't ask me to open it. I don't think I'll make it past that one. Uh, gas formation, when you guys see bubbling or when you say it's fizzing, it's bubbling, that is actually when we're forming a gas. Usually it's carbon dioxide gas is formed as a part of a product of some of these chemical reactions. Uh, production of light, we'll look at that again as well. So uh, one good example of that is also fireworks, uh, but also burning, exploding, oxidizing, oxidizing. Real familiar with that, guys. That's rust. So don't forget iron and oxygen make rust. That's just oxidation. Uh, precipitate, that's when you're pouring two liquids together and actually getting a solid as part of the chemical reaction. All right, so enough of that. Let's look at some of these. We are now going to look at mixing two liquids together to actually see if we can see a precipitate form. This reaction is called liquid sunshine because it also produces that nice pretty color change. So we've got two signs right here, color change and precipitate or a solid. So there you go. Here's our beautiful remnants here, our yellow, beautiful color change. Know that I didn't have any color added there, so it's not like when you have blue Kool-Aid and you add that to water. Uh, this is something that was, color was not there previously, now it is. We'll let this settle for a little bit because actually the yellow particles are truly solid. So we're going to just sit this down and we'll look at that later. Okay. All right, uh, another um, one would be light production. You all know the glow stick, so go figure, mine is do all the work. Got some more in the prep room. Neither one of my glow sticks work anymore, they're old. So that chemical reaction, oh look, this one does, has pretty much almost come and gone. But if you, that was nice, perfect timing. Uh, if you um, actually when you bend and crackle it you are making the two liquids come together and produce this light which is chemical reaction 